Hello, this is Yanis from Any Repair. Today we will go through a repair of a MacBook A1534 that uh, came to us with a common fault for this uh, model. Uh, no SSD or no SSD detected. Let's go and see how we'll deal with this problem. Uh, this is the notebook. My overhead is uh, died, so I'm using my front camera. Uh, but okay, we will have uh, our new camera very soon. I'm pressing the button, the power button, and the Apple is there. And if we wait a bit, we will have, wait for it, wait for it, it's trying to find the SSD which is uh, an AND. Wait for it. I'm waiting too. And the result is the folder with a question mark. That means that no SSD detected. No SSD or macOS uh, is loaded on the SSD. Let's go and see further. Uh, what uh, we are caring about for this uh, repair uh, is that uh, if you type uh, the A1534 MacBook not recognizing SSD or no SSD dete detected, you will find a lot, a lot, many, 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 many videos that uh, are uh, advising to reflow the CPU. And I am very skeptical about this because uh, none of these videos are uh, with... Uh, an explanation, are coming with an explanation, because uh, as you can see, we are having the 20 volts, and uh, as we're measuring for uh, some voltages on the coils, we are having, we are having on the coils every voltage except of the VCCGT, you know, no LCD is uh, connected. And uh, as we go to the microscope, we will see that a coil has no voltage at all. Not the charging coil, but uh, the coil that feeds the NAND. So, let's go and check with a charger on we will check here on this little coil that uh, we are not having any voltage at all but all the other coils are producing voltage and that's why the MacBook is displaying, but no SSD detected. And I don't think that is a CPU related issue. And I don't think that you must follow these videos because there are no justifications that uh, the CPU is related with this issue. Uh, we must check and find what is the problem. You see, this is the this is the MOSFET that feeds this coil and behind the U9000 uh, is the chip that uh, triggers the MOSFET to produce this uh, voltage for the NAND flash. So, this coil that we have measured is the coil that is feeding the NAND flash and uh, before in, in the in the other side of the MOSFET of the board, I'm sorry, uh, we are having the MOSFET and the controller. Let's go and check together this uh, opposite side, the bottom side. This is the coil, and just below, in the other side, there is a. MOSFET, a dual MOSFET, 
and the regulator that is producing and triggering the voltage for the NAND to be fed. So, as we're checking with, an, with our own eyes uh, this dual MOSFET, we can see that some solder is uh, out of the package. Let me bring some more light, but you can see it is obvious that a solder ball is has left. This is the U, U9000, and this is the MOSFET. You can see the, the bubble. You can see the solder that has left the package. And I think that this MOSFET is off. So, before reflowing any CPU, we must check and find the reason for no producing for not producing this voltage. The voltage of the NAND is not CPU related. Another chip is controlling the enable signal for the U9000. So, it is not a wise thing to reflow a CPU before checking everything or to reflow a working CPU that displays image on the screen. So, just to be serious, don't reflow your CPU. Okay, just check and make a reasonable decision about what is happening on the board and then act. So, the MOSFET is removed. You can see the MOSFET. And now we must uh, find another one. We will uh, check. We will check uh, to find from a donor from a, a similar one donor board. So let's go and find it. Okay, this is the donor board. This is the our board. Let's remove this plastic cover and put the donor board over the the heating mat. That is the one we want. It's not on the same side of the board or same section of the board, but uh, has uh, it is identical, and we want to use it. Hopefully, it is a uh, working dual MOSFET, so we will remove it with our heat gun and tweezer. We are not caring about the, this board only for the donations that uh, can, uh, can offer. We don't care about this connector, so we are not bothering to protect it. The MOSFET is off. And we are going to place it right away in our repairable board. On our repair board. I'm sorry for my bad English. And now, adding flags and uh, proper alignment. We will uh, solder the MOSFET from the donor board to our repairable board. Hopefully, it will not fly away. Now I'm holding steady with my tweezer. The MOSFET uh, is in place. We will press it a bit to remove the excess solder from the ground pad and all these things that we must avoid. Press it down.
and we are okay. We will clean up the solder bulbs. We have one more. A little flux may help. And the blob is off. So, we will uh, cool the things a bit. And we will try to do this with our isopropylic alcohol. ESD safe wiping, you saw, with my finger. I'm joking, of course. And now we will uh, plug our charger and check in the same place, in the same coil, if the voltage is uh, being produced. And if the CPU was uh, the culprit for this or something else. Okay, I think the board is cooled now. And uh, we will uh, plug our charger and check with our voltage meter or multimeter. You can see the indication on the upper left corner. Wait for it. I'm plugging the USB adapter properly. And now we have 20 volts we can measure. And boom, we have 2.8 volts for the NAND. Not to be related, something else was related for this issue, and you saw what is, what was. And now let's go and see if uh, we have solved this problem. If we did, please don't reflow your CPU. Uh, reject all these videos that are with no uh, reason, with no missing signals, with no voltage measurement, just reflowing a CPU and then magically it works. I don't feel like following these videos. I think that uh, you will agree. I'm waiting for your comments, though. Because uh, some things uh, I have missed, maybe I have missed. So I'm waiting for your comments and for this apple to appear. And now we must uh, see something that we will... Yes, we saw it, we saw it. This is uh, what we wanted to see. It is fixed. That was the repair as you saw. If you like this video, consider like, subscribe and share. Thanks for watching. See you another repair. Bye.